I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on finding limits as x approaches infinity. Now this question involves radicals and so we need to really work uh, very interestingly with them. Let us see how. We need to determine limit as x approaches infinity for square root of 5x minus 1 divided by square root of 7x plus 1 plus cube root of 2x plus 1. That's the question for you. The expected answer is ratio of these two since the degree of both numerator and denominator is half, right? When we have same degree, then leading coefficients ratio is the solution as x approaches infinity. But let's figure out how to do it. So we could write this expression as limit x approaches infinity. The numerator will take x common. So we get 5 minus 1 over x, right? Now here, we can take x common, so we get 7 plus 1 over x. Now, so we are getting square root x common from these places. Now if I take x common here, I get cube root of x common. Well, we actually want square root of x, now that is the tricky part. So this portion has to be treated in a very, very different way. And that is what we are going to learn in this particular video. So how to write this portion? So that we could take square root x common, right? So, so let us actually uh, solve this separately. So what we have here is a radical part, cube root of 2x plus 1. Now, if I do the sixth root of it, I could actually write this as, uh, let's say this 2x plus 1 square and then sixth root, right? So that is same, right? So 6 divided by 2 is 1 third. So th these are same statements. So I could write this as 6th root of, let me square this, a square plus 2ab plus b square. That is 4x square plus 2ab means 4x plus 1, correct? Now I could take x square common, right? So 6th root, and if I take x square common, I get 4. Uh, how about taking x cube common? Because I want square root, right? So I'll take x cube common. So if I take x cube common, I know it's not there, but then we'll get 4 over x, right? Plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cube. Do you see that? So if I take x cube common, this is the sixth root, then outside the root, I get x to the power of 3 over 6, which is square root. And within the square root, we get 4 over x plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cube or I get here square root of x times this is 6th root 6th root of 4 over x plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cube so do you understand these steps so go through these steps they are very critical so looking into this we can actually take square root x common right square root x common and we could write this as sixth root of all this. So 4 over x plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cubed. Do you see that? Now let's continue. So what we have here is limit x approaches infinity. Square root x is common here, right? And what we have here is 5 minus 1 over x within square root. And here also we have square root x common and we have 7 plus 1 over x uh, within square root, correct? And here we have again square root x common and we have 6th root of 4 over x plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cube. Perfect. Okay. Now we can cancel out these square roots, right? They are common factors, correct? So we get limit x approaches infinity and we have square root of 5 minus 1 over x over square root of 7 plus 1 over x plus square root of 4 over x plus 4 over x square plus 1 over x cube. Now as x approaches infinity these terms approach zero. So what are you left with? 
we are left with square root of 5 divided by square root of 7. So we are left with square root of 5 divided by square root of 7. So that is our answer, correct? So our answer is square root of 5 over 7. Does it make sense to you? I'm Adil Kumar and I hope it makes sense to you, right? Here, the critical steps are shown here in red. I'd like you to go through these steps and understand how we can divide the radical functions. So that should be a good learning experience. If you like it, you can put a like. Feel free to share my videos and subscribe. Thank you and all the best.